Conrad, let's talk about imagery. Imagery is so important in election campaigns. And let's begin with President Barack Obama. He really used the power of the incumbency in the White House to great effect this week, didn't he? Yes, he swooped into Afghanistan under the veil of secrecy, um, gives this solemn address to the nation from the, in the middle of the night in Afghanistan to Americans back home, hailing the first anniversary of the killing of Osama bin Laden and telling Americans that he's made concrete progress in winding down the war in Afghanistan, a president who's accomplishing things. And speaking of imagery, there's a, a new book that's going to be coming out in June, excerpts have been published in Vanity Fair, and they paint a really interesting portrait of young Barack Obama that's slightly different from the portrait that he fashioned during the 2008 campaign. Yeah, I think one of the most interesting things about that is that Obama acknowledges in an interview with David Moranis, the biographer, who's a very serious biographer, that the girlfriend he talked about in his autobiography never really existed. She was a composite Obama says, of several girls he knew, um, but the girl that uh, Moranis interviews says none of the incidents happened um, as Barack Obama explained them. So it challenges this idea that he portrays of himself as going on this spiritual and intellectual journey to appropriate his black identity. Moranis portrays a very different um, kind of individual who is much more calculating and ambitious.